As it's going to be IIC next week, I thought it would be a good idea to give you everybody a bit of a preview about what we're going to be showing there. So uh, what I've got set up here is our Ovation Media Server and Sequencer uh, and a Dataton Watchout uh, video, uh, multi-screen video playout server. So one of the things we're going to be highlighting on the stand is our synchronization um, technology that works between the two systems. Uh, show you that you can do all the video power uh, with the watch out and then very simply and easy get the exact same amount of audio power uh, in your Ovation media server and sequencer. So what I've got here is a bit of a control interface which is going to show us um, a, a, an idea for an interactive video and audio environment within um, an AV installation. So to get everything started here, I'm just going to send a play command to my watchout, which has started the watchout timeline running, and as well, started uh, a synchronous audio playback of uh, the watchout information itself. So the connection between the watchout and the ovation could be simpler. We simply name the audio cue or cues in ovation the same as the alternate timeline in the, uh, sorry, in the watch out. From that point, uh, the synchronization is all automated and just takes a hold of things and locks them with frame accuracy. Uh, and all of that happens across standard network, uh, just an IP address. So we've got the show running here and we've got a bit of a control interface. So I'm just gonna go over a tiny bit. Uh, first off, uh, we've got some uh, ability to put our sound uh, into different rooms. And we've got the ability to move far away from the audio. So, um, these effects will come into play when I start to use uh, the cue number seven here, play the robot section. So there's a section of this watch out video uh, which is a, is a robot dancing in a disco. So what I've done is I've done a little bit of uh, audio trackway here in Ovation. We can see I've got a multi-track bit of uh, audio playing that's going to play back here and uh, an accompanying video in the watch out. So let's just play it back and see what happens. So. Go in here, now I have a synchronous audio of the robot special timeline, and as well you can see that that watch out main timeline has resynced. The reason for that is, is it's in watch out, it is uh, the watch out timeline that's playing and the robot special is simply an overlay. So now we can see here we've got, we've got synchro, it's uh, everything's working to, to match the audio to the video, and we get a little disco dancing here. So because we're in ovation, we can start doing some more interesting things than what could just happen with a simple playback of audio, which is fine if it plays back the audio, that's fun, but to create interactivity, we need to be able to amend both the video and the audio uh, on the fly. So I'm just gonna stop that robot question and I'm gonna play it back again. This time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it into a room. I'm actually gonna add a reverb. And we can see here that my reverb one is now getting uh, filled with a, uh, some signal and it sound like we're in a room. And I can actually change the room we're in. You can see that the, the reverb selection is actually changing in the mixer. And I've got a bigger sounding reverb. And I can even put it in a gigantic cavern. So a very interesting way to be able to change what's going on and change the dynamic of the video you're seeing by, by putting it in a different environment. So, I can amend and affect the audio, but I can also then change the pan and, and move our, our viewer through an audio environment. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm, I'm now in, still in this, I'll go back to a non-cavernous room. But I'm now going to move away from the audio. So we're in the room with the robot, we're right up next to him, everything's moving around. But I'm going to click this, and you're going to see a nice fade to us being outside of the room. This is a simple volume control, but the effect it has is one that pushes the viewer into different parts of uh, a sonic environment while watching a video to help suspend this video. That's what I'm trying to do. So that's completely possible. All of it's manually driven. That's great. But we can also automate all this occurring. So within this, I've got markers that are set up within my multi-track queue. And if I say use marker changes, you can see what's going to happen is as I move to the different markers, it's going to automatically change my room environment for me. I'll go back into the room so we can see this a bit more directly. And we see we get to room two and we go to room two and so on and so forth. So 
the the environment can be predetermined to happen at different points in time as well. And there we go. All this goes to being able to control playback uh, from the Ovation uh, and also then send the control to do playback in the watchout. But as watchout can this means you can start with but as watchout can manage most, live video inputs, Ovation can also manage live microphone inputs. You'll see there on channel 8 that that's actually me talking. And if I click a button down here, I can make sure that I And then I can come back and nobody notices the difference. So the absolute control of uh, Ovation live inputs can be done from the same interface as the playout. And to that end, I can also put myself into the room. So I'm going to go back and say, play the robot section. And we're going to go back into the room with, Mike, with, the, with the robot looking around having a dance. And I'm going to put him in a fairly large room here. What I'm also going to do at this point is I'm going to say, put the mic into the robot effect. And at that point, I'm in the room as well. I'm with the robot and my presentation is now uh, next to him as opposed to uh, outside of what is going on. And I'm now in the gigantic cavern. And now, as we move away from the actual action, I'm staying with you, but still in the same room. So all of this goes together to be able to create and maintain an interactive audio and video uh, environment. So that's just a little preview of what we've got going on in the booth. If you uh, feel like coming by, we're on stand 7 and 220 at ISD 2013. I hope to see you there. Take care, everybody. Bye.